I've been a wee bit busy this week, what with it coming up to Christmas and all. Uh, work trying to get everything done, family stuff, all that good stuff. So I thought I'd be a bit lazy here and just revisit a project that I made for last Christmas that I don't think I showed on video. I've got these three strings of LED lights all tied together into um, into a microcontroller. Um, in this case, a DigiSpark, which is an AT Tiny, and all running off a of battery and doing this nice little fade thing, which is out of focus because it's kind of dark in here. Now, I'm going to plug in my normal lights here, which is going to swamp out the LEDs. Oh, sorry about the eyes. And we'll take a look at uh, this thing. So basically, well, really, all it is is three strings of just cheap little dollar store LED lights. They come exactly like this um, with just a uh, battery box and a switch. Um, there's other ones. Here's some that I bought this year. These are these little surface mount ones in a blob of glue and battery box. And they're, they're cheap. They're available, especially the day after Christmas. They're incredibly cheap. Um, so I cut the battery box off all three of those and step put that in my part stash because battery boxes are handy. And I wired them all into this little circuit board of my own devising, which is controlled by this little DigiSpark here and plugged into a suitably festive colored power bank. So unplug that and set them aside. So all this really is, let me zoom in on it. Uh, all it is, is the DigiSpark with the three PWM outputs, which are, is that focused? It is focused. Uh, which are on, I can't read those. Which are on pins 0, 1, and 4 of the DigiSpark. I don't know what that is in the AT Tiny, but it doesn't matter because the DigiSpark board uh, abstracts it. So I've got a series resistor coming out of there, basically to limit the, the base current of these three transistors. These three transistors are, well, I'm 99% sure that they're 2N2222s. Um, no, they're not. Two in five 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 ones. Okay, I stand corrected. Anyway, regardless, they're just basic uh, bipolar junction transistors. The magic of these things, because it's like an Arduino project, basically, the magic is always, always in the code. And the code for this thing is super duper simple, too. I essentially just ripped off one of the demo libraries, the example libraries, did some copying and pasting, and Let's go take a look and I'll show you. Okay, here's the magic code. As I mentioned, this is just a complete uh, copy-paste rip-off job from the demo that came with the uh, with the Arduino IDE. I didn't even bother to remove the comments. So, um, here's what I've done. I've assigned the red uh, LEDs to pin 0. Uh, the green to pin 1 and the blue to pin 4, all of which are PWM on the DigiSpark. Um, then the, basically everything that is the red channel is what was already there. Um, the other two channels I just copied and made a slight modification. So I'll just do the, I'll just uh, go through it here. So you start with the brightness at 0 and the fade amount is 5. Basically that gets added to it or subtracted from it later on. I started the green at uh, 125, multiples of 5, um, and again fade by 5 each time, and the blue at 250. So basically one starts dark, one starts at mid, and one starts just about at full. Um, matter of fact, the blue is only one step off from full. Um, then the setup, uh, just to assign the names to the pins and set them as outputs. And then, really, all we do is analog write the pin with 
the brightness. Then we increase the brightness by the fade amount. Um, and as we're the first time we go through, we're ignoring this here. Um, we wait for 50 milliseconds. The original had 30. I liked 50 better. It slowed it down a little bit. And then we bounce up to the top and carry on. Now in the second bit here, if the if the brightness of the red hits zero or hits 255, basically nothing or max, then you turn the fade amount into a negative number. So the fade amount is five at the beginning. Uh, when this thing after when this uh, red hits 255 or hits zero, you just turn that. Uh, in this case, okay, red is going to first hit 255. Um, when it does that, you turn the fade into a negative number, and then it carries it carries on along. Um, and the green and the blue. So when it comes up next time, you take the brightness of red, which was 255 right otherwise that wouldn't happen then you add that brightness 255 to the fade amount which is now negative five and it goes down 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 until it hits zero and then the fade amount and then this flips it over into a positive number again it goes back up and the same thing happens for the two channels that is it that's the entire code even a horrible coder like me was able to slam this thing together in probably 15 or 20 minutes, including fixing all the typos and experimenting, uploading, changing the delay. Super duper simple. Feel free to steal my stolen code if you want. Now, back to the hardware. Okay, so I just did a quick look up to make sure I wasn't losing my mind, and these are 2N5551, which are an NPN transistor. Um, so, like that. Um, why did I use those instead of 2222s, which I probably should have used because they're super common? Well, I happened to have those at the time. That's the only reason I can think of. So, connected to the base is a hundred and... No, it isn't. That's the other resistor. That's a one 1,000 ohm resistor, 1K. Um, let's get in a little bit closer on this here. Um, and that comes off the DigiSpark pin. Um, one of the PWM pins, all three circuits are exactly the same. Um, that goes to zero volts. Um, that goes to 120 ohm resistor, which then goes to the LEDs and those LED strings are a whole bunch of LEDs in parallel um, I think about 20 of them something like that and it just goes off like that, a whole bunch and that goes to the 5 volts of the Arduino or the microcontroller which is actually just coming straight off the USB had I put a raw voltage input, it would have used the regulator on here, and it still would have been 5 volts. Um, did you spark? That's all it is. And then three times over. Super duper simple. I cranked this sucker out in an evening. Um, yeah, it did take me a little bit longer to hack the hardware together than it did the code. Uh, and... I am a hardware guy, but I was trying to be, you know, vaguely neat when I did this. Put some heat shrink as, uh, as strain relief there. I even marked the positive common here, this, this line here, with a bit of red tape, just so that I wouldn't lose track of what's what. The backside is a little bit ugly, but it's not horrible. Um, there's the pins of the Arduino tied down just so that there, I, I soldered them all down just so that it wouldn't flop around in the breeze. Positive and negative voltage. Ran a little bus over to the positive side there. Um, ran the ground over here and just tacked it down in a couple of places just to make it into a trace. And there's the zero volts going into... 
uh, into the emitter of each of the three transistors. And then here is the resistors feeding the base, one, two, and three. And there, jumping to there, is the resistors coming out of the collector and to the OEDs. That's it, that's all. Oh, and then very important, a nice festive little case to hide it as it's sitting in behind the the garland uh, that we put on the shelf and just hide these things in amongst it and i've got nice slow gentle fading nice easy one now if you excuse me i'm going to get back to wrapping christmas presents talk to you later